Good morning, my loves. Good morning, my loves. How are you? Welcome back to the Morning Minute. Um, I'm going to pop on here this morning because for the last few weeks, I've been supporting clients, working behind the scenes a ton, and just sort of taking a breather after releasing my book. It's a huge push. It's sort of like uh, giving birth uh, to a book. It's like giving birth to a baby. So there was a little postpartum soreness and exhaustion that came with it. But I've had so many amazing conversations with clients and former clients recently. In particular, one came up a few days ago that I really wanted to share here because I know that it's such a common, such a common and, and vital and pervasive important conversation. So a woman that had been a client for a long time called me up and just said, can we talk for some, there's just something I want to help, have some help navigating. And this is pretty common. Um, women that I've worked with in the past just reach out when they get to a sticky point or need a little help. And this woman just said, I have, I have to make a bid on a job and I'm not sure how to charge for it. And so that seems like a really logical, tangible thing and that we dug into and I asked a couple of questions. And little by little, we got further and deeper and it wasn't really ever just, it's never just about the task. Let me close this so you don't hear the construction next door. Maybe. There you go. Um, underneath, like, how do I charge for something is the deeper question. What am I worth? What's my time worth? What's my value? What are my services? How, how valuable are my services? How valuable is my time? And, and some of the questions were like, well, I know that the client can afford it. And so should I charge more? And so there's it's like, does that feel right? Do I feel like I know I undercharged before? So there's all these questions about worth and value and money. And all of them are tangled up for so many of us. And underneath it is, I don't know what I'm worth. I don't know if my time, if my services, if my skills are worth blank, okay? Whether you're charging hourly or a flat rate, and this isn't just about money, is it? It's not about money. The money helps and money's important and money's great, but, but it's not about the money. What is your time, your energy, your contribution worth and and when we don't know or we're not sure are we giving it away for free are we overcharging what is overcharging how do we figure that out and so we we dug into all of these different questions and for for this particular client you know the difference was like between this or five dollars more right and so depending on where you are in the world is that a lot of money is it not a lot of money again it's it's perspective but i asked all these questions and you could i could tell that there was some tension some resentment there was something clogging this question and and we got to it because it turns out that all of the conversation, it wasn't even, um, it wasn't even a, her work. She was acting as an agent for someone else. And so she was helping someone else and spending all of this time and all of this energy to secure a good deal for this other person. And I said, I asked how much it, are you charging? What percentage or what commission are you getting to serve as an agent? And it clicked. She wasn't. She wasn't getting any of it. So she was taking on all of this energy and all of this work, spending a bunch of time, a bunch of emotional energy, and it wasn't even her contract. She was being the agent for someone else. And, and she wasn't getting paid anything. 
So we just done all of this navigating. And I said, okay, this is where, this is where you have been giving yourself for free. This is where you don't see your own worth and your own value. Are you good at what you do? Is this effort that you're putting in for someone else of value? Do you deserve a commission? Do you deserve a cut? What is that? And, and it was like, there was a long pause because this is uncomfortable. Money is uncomfortable. Worth and value are uncomfortable for so many people. But we have to go into these spaces. We have to explore, oh my gosh, what's my value? Otherwise, guess what, babe? You are being undersold. Whether you work for a salary and a wage, whether you are your own boss, an entrepreneur, or freelance, and you're decide, deciding your own value and your own worth, every one of us has precious time, precious energy, key insights. So when we're giving ourselves and we are not getting money or time or energy in exchange, we are going to grow to a place where we are exhausted, where we are resentful, and it whether we even see it or not, it is going to be tainting and changing our relationships. I have been there um, and money is still, and value and worth is still definitely something that from time to time I wrestle with because we are each all growing and learning. And so what we had figured out once before doesn't mean it's always gonna fit and always work. This exact same client earlier in the year we had in, in different work and uh, different things, we had doubled her rate over a couple of different increments because she wasn't making enough to live and the work was hard and she was giving, she gives 190% to anything she does and, and it was draining her and she couldn't figure out why it was draining her. And I said, well, what if you raise your prices? No, I can't do that because what happens if no one, you know, da, 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 da. But we doubled over a couple of little increments, we doubled her in her her hourly wage, and she was fully booked. Her prices went up, people wanted her more, and she was fully booked. So we had done some of this work before, and just because we do the work once does not mean it's always settled, because we are learning, and we are growing, and we are changing, and it's okay to come back around to something where like, oh, I thought I had that sorted out, but we don't, and that's that means you're still growing. It doesn't mean you failed before. It doesn't mean you didn't figure it out. It means you are continuing to learn and grow. That this is not a straight line. This is a cyclical spiraling, continuing to wrap around and look at something from a slightly new perspective and a, a different thing. Um, it was a big conversation where she had began to see she like full clear saw how she had been giving not just you know is it worth this or is it worth that she'd been giving hours and hours and hours of her attention her time her energy and not asking for anything in return and not seeing it of value she'd been advocating for other people's worth and their value she'd been trying to get the best for other people and neglecting, forgetting to see her time and her worth and her value. And, and I see this a lot. I see this all the time, whether it's actually about money in the case of work, or it's something else in, in a relationship or a family dynamic where women are overlooking and failing to see our own worth, failing to ask for what we deserve not even knowing, not even being able to see that we deserve. Okay. And 2020 has been a doozy of a year. It has opened up a lot for us. It has torn down a lot for us. It has shaken us to the core in many ways. But one of the gifts that it has presented to so many women is beginning to see all of the different things that we're doing and carrying and the value and the worth that we hold. As we go into 2021, it is my 
challenge to each of you to pause and take a breath right now and put your finger on the pulse of where you are in terms of recognizing your own worth and value in terms of asking for what you deserve and what you're worth and your ability to receive these are each of these is really big but when you have done this work when you are in a space where you can navigate and untangle this you are going to feel so much lighter and so much clearer if if the pulse is um, resistance notice that if there is a bitterness or frustration notice that these discomforts are signs that there's something to learn and untangle I just wanted to share this story with you because I think it is pretty universal where we are all learning to see our worth and our value, learning how to ask for it, how to ask for more because we're giving so much and how do we advocate for ourselves? This is the work that I support clients with. This is the work that I'm still doing myself. Bless it all, I am not done, but it is definitely work that I come back to on a regular basis, cyclically, seasonally, annually, and it's definitely work that I support women with. It's not the only thing we do, but it is definitely our money, our time, our worth is the core of figuring out who we are and, and what we're doing here. So I just wanted to share that story with you. And if you're looking for any more tools on this kind of stuff, know that I'm going to be doing a training the first week of January how to really set yourself up for uh, to thrive to, for success in 2021. Maybe this year has been challenging for you. Maybe it's given you a bunch of gifts. Maybe those two things go together. How do we set ourselves up for even a better year next year than we've had in the past? Those are the questions that we're going to be diving into. I'm going to be sharing a bunch of tools and opening this up so that, you know, the beginning of the year we all start with these big goals and expectations but they don't last for very long let's set it up so that your dreams and your desires and your goals and your worth and your value gets nourished and acknowledged throughout the year and it's not just something that you think about for a little bit at the beginning of the year i can't wait to see you there i'm going to drop a link if you're interested and i just wanted to share this story if you have a relevant story about worth value, money, time, energy, receiving, giving, please share it here in the comments. When you have the courage to share your story, you are not only doing this work for yourself, but you are sharing your insight and wisdom with another person, and you are giving them permission to share and grow themselves. Sending you love. Have a beautiful day. Speak soon.